Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I am a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I are on a journey to become debt-free using a zero-based budget and the cash stuffing method because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. All right, you guys, well, I am so excited for this video. I love cash condensing videos. They're my favorite to film and my favorite to watch on other channels. So let's get into it. Before we start though, I gotta get your guys' opinion on something. So these are, technically these are my older design of placeholders. So the font is a little bit different on my new ones, but I still use these ones because I don't wanna waste them. But I have a new design I'm thinking about bringing to the shop. Well, it's actually the exact same design, just a little bit different. And I wanna get your guys' opinion before I make a whole bunch of them. So I have two, they're both thousand dollar placeholders, but I would have this in all the options. So this is just white, but there's color for the like number behind it. So this is what I currently have. It's that like transparent frosted vellum. They're both matte. So this is also a matte placeholder and they're about the same like thickness, except this one is just white. So you guys will have to tell me what you think about those in the comments and if I should add them to the shop or if I should just keep this design and keep it really simple. So let me know. All right, well, I'm gonna start with my holiday sinking funds like I normally do for a cash condensing. And if you're new here, cash condensing just means that my envelopes are getting way too full because I have a lot of smaller denominations and I'm just gonna condense them into larger ones. So I have taken $1,500 out of my savings account, so 10 hundreds and 10 fifties. I'll be putting the exact same amount back into my savings. And then this money right here is $90. This I stole out of my $1 savings challenge. So at the end, I'll just make sure I put that 90 back in there, but I just wanted to have some extra 20s and 10s in case I need them. So that's where I got the money from. I literally just borrowed it out of my savings account and I'm gonna be depositing the exact same amount back in. So let's start with Valentine's Day. So we have 50, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So I'm gonna exchange these fives for a 20. So I have a lot of really fun things coming to the shop. Maybe this can be like a shop update. So now that I'm caught up on orders from my launch and restock at the end of July, I've been working on a lot of new things. I have a lot of fun products coming in the mail that I have not announced anywhere. I am filming a vlog though. So 10, 15, 20. I am filming a vlog where I unbox a lot of the new ones. So when you see that vlog come out, make sure you watch it because is this, yeah. So um, it's like my, I haven't posted it yet. Obviously I'm still filming it, but it's gonna be my like office reset, organizing, getting ready for the next launch type vlog. All right. So I am out of, I'm out of 20s. Set this aside and see, I bet I can condense Halloween. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 20, 30, 40, 50. So I'm gonna exchange these for a 50. Actually. Oh no, it bothers me when these aren't all the same way. There we go. <laughs> okay, so now in Halloween we have 100, 200, 20, and 30. If I ever mess up, just know I catch it when, I, when I'm editing you guys. Editing is very tedious, so now I can exchange these for that 20. Maybe I should have grabbed more 20s. So $30 in 4th of July. Halloween we just did. Let's see what we have in Thanksgiving. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. I might have to circle back through some of these once I have more 20s. Then 20s are usually not an issue. <laughs> okay, so Black Friday. 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. 
100. So, I just wanted to make sure that was correct. So now we'll have some 20s. So we're gonna grab Right, so 400. Not too much longer, and we'll need a placeholder for that one too. All right, so we have 1,000 set aside already for Christmas. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 455. So actually, let's do this. Five, 51, 52. Okay, and now we'll, we'll be able to trade this in for a $500 placeholder. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll grab a $500 placeholder. So now we have 1,000, 1,500, 1,600, 1,650. All right, New Year's Eve, we have 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. I think I am just going to do a $100 bill in here. Just thinking about doing 250s, but... Let's go back to Thanksgiving now. 10, 20, 30, 40. So 50, 70, 90, 95, perfect. All right, and birthday parties. So we have 300, 400. 20, 40, 60, 70. I think I'm gonna just do, I'm gonna trade this in for a 50. And I'm gonna keep the other 50s too so I don't have all 100s in here. 100, 200, 300, 354. Actually, I'll be, I'll probably get a placeholder for this before I have to spend it. So I actually might just swap those in so that my envelope isn't so thick. My holiday sinking funds gets thick really fast. I have a lot of envelopes in this one. All right, back to school. I'm going to be pulling out of here. Hmm. When I do my unstuffing, I'm gonna be pulling out of here. So I think I'm just gonna, well, I'm pulling like big amounts though. Like I just spent $360 on Liam's uniforms. So 20, 30, 40, 50. So we'll do a $100 bill. Right, so now we have 500, 600, 700, 750, 760, which is exactly what we started with. Spring 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60. Instead of a 100, just in case we want to spend this. Fall 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95. So we'll grab a 50. So in September, I am going to have a huge restock 
and I'll be launching some new products as well. Things that I haven't talked about yet, but I'm really excited about 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60. I just want to make like wait until my shipments come in so I can make sure everything's the way I want it before I announce it. But I love shop requests, so always feel free to drop shop requests down in the comments. But I love knowing what you guys want. And this, a lot of the new things I have coming are things that people have been asking for. So that's why I'm so excited about them. All right. I always take my $1 out. All right, so seasonal decor, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80. So we'll trade these in for a 50. All right, and that should do it for holiday sinking funds. All right, next up is our, we're gonna do low priority because this one is also, I mean, look at that. It's, it's a little ridiculous. So I'm not gonna condense any of these home renovations. I can condense though. So we have 100, 200, 300, 350, 450. All right, so 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, perfect. Um, I'm not going to condense kids. Date night doesn't need it. I think I might condense Antonio though, because I stuff 10 for him every week. So 10, 20, 30, 40. So we'll exchange these for two twenties. So he has 90. I did just buy our tickets for the amusement park. So his envelope got a little bit depleted, but I got a deal on Groupon. So that was nice. Antonio's our little through big brothers, big sisters. Anytime I don't mention it, someone asks in the comments. So I just want to make sure. I know it's like super repetitive, but all right. So 100, 200. All right. So we'll be able to grab a $500 placeholder for this. 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So 20... Okay, so we'll grab a 50 and a 10, I think. So that's 80. And then 100, 200, 300, 350, 4, 455. So 580 in hockey. Hockey rink. We are not at 500 in here, but it can definitely be condensed. 120, 40, 60, 80, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20. <laughs> One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, three fifty, three seventy, three seventy-five. 375. Nails has nothing. This can definitely get condensed as well. So 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85. So we'll keep. All right, so let's count this up and make sure it's 100. 50, 7, or 200, maybe? 200, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 200. So make sure I don't get any of this mixed up. God knows we don't need me confused. So 
So one, two, three. Oh. Oh gosh. Okay. One, two, three, four, 20, 30, 35, 435, which is the correct number. I just did my cash stuffing. Like I filmed it right before this one. So I remember what a lot of my balances were. I like doing these right after I cash stuff because A, I can condense it, and then B, I like remember what my balances were. All right, so 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. So we'll swap these out for a 50. I'm gonna keep these a little smaller because I'm gonna go um, pick up a gift for my nephew and I don't need a $100 bill for that. So a 50 is perfect. So we have 150 in here organizing let's see i'm gonna pull these ones out i think i might just put those in my one dollar savings challenge or something same concept as my wallet whatever's sitting in there <laughs> okay let's see 20 40 60 80 90 100 5 10 15 20. so 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. One, two, three, fifty, seventy five. Yep, three seventy five. Tax prep twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred, twenty, four, oh my god, ten, twenty, twenty five, thirty, thirty five. So we'll set this out thirty five and then. 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 100. One hundred, one fifty, one seventy, one ninety, one ninety five. Wedding ring. 20, 30, 40, 50. So we can swap this out for a 100 because we got 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. Actually, I like to use this as an opportunity to swap out for nicer bills too <laughs> and take the wrinkly ones back to the bank. Okay, 100, 200, 300, 400, 10, 415, which is correct. 10th anniversary. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. And we got 150 left over, so we'll actually do this. 1, 2, 3, 54, 55. Am I out of 500s? my other stack here. Oh, there's one. All right, so in 10th anniversary, we've got $650. And then travel, 51, 20, 45. We'll swap these out for 100. 100, oh yeah, 145. And then the last one is gonna be our high priority sinking funds, which I don't usually condense a ton in this one because we spend these the most often and I just, it's easier to have smaller bills because then you have less change. So still gonna see what we have in here. I can condense those for a 10. And then right. 
20, 40, 60, 75, which is, I believe, what we started with. All right. So, one, two. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. 40, 60, 80. I wanted a nicer 20 in case you're wondering why I grabbed it out of there. The crispier they are, the less room they take up. I'm going to keep these 50s in here because I need to do an unstuffing soon and I don't want my denominations too, too big. So... I probably won't do that. I don't know. I was going to do it tomorrow, but I might do it. I need to figure that out. I should have done that before I did this technically, but it's fine. Usually I like to do my unstuffing, then my cash stuffing, then my condensing, but it doesn't always work out that way. All right. So household 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. So I think I'm going to keep these smaller ones, but then swap this out for a 50. So I get rid of two bills, which mm, I might also swap this out for a 20. There we go. One, 50, two, 20, 40, 60, 70, 270. Yes. Personal hygiene is obnoxious. Let's see here. We'll start with this 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Let's set these 20, 40, 60, 80. 1, 20, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. I think I'll do a 100 and 250s. 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. One too many 10s in there. One hundred, one fifty, two, two fifty, three, three fifty, three sixty, three sixty-five. Okay, so we ended with the right amount. Baby needs 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75. So we'll swap these out for a 50. All right. Copays 50. I like to keep 50s in here because our copay is either 25 or $40. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70. So we'll swap this out for a 50. So 51, 50, 70, 170. Medical. One, two, three, four, five. I think I'm out of $500 placeholders. I have more downstairs. I might have to go grab one. 50, 70, 90. Fifty, seventy. 90, 110, 105. No, 115. So I'm going to snag a 10. So you have 15 and then trade this in for a 100. One, two, three, four, five, six. 15 is correct. I'm going to go grab my placeholder or else I'm going to forget. Okay. 
found one. So I had to search through my imperfect pile. So five, oh, I gotta take the hundreds out. One, two, three, four, five. There we go, 600, 615. So I'm thinking before the end of August, potentially doing a mystery grab bag event. So I have basically like anything I've ever offered in my shop, I have imperfect versions of it. They're all fully functional. There's just like some maybe cosmetic flaws. So for example, this placeholder I just put in here, printed with a black dot on it. So, but it's still fully functional. I'll still use it. So they're gonna be highly discounted, the mystery grab bags, but there'll be different ones. So there'll be a Lux Haven binder mystery grab bag, a Lux Haven wallet mystery grab bag. I have um, some of the Lizzie's that are fully functional, but there's just maybe some like little imperfections that I, most people might not notice. I notice them. So, or like maybe the zipper doesn't work super well, but the binder is fine. So I'm thinking about doing that hopefully by the, before like August is over just to kind of move that because it's taking up a lot of space in my office and I have a lot of new products coming in. So I think I might need to make that a priority over the next like week or so to just get that all figured out. Okay, so vehicle maintenance, 51, 52, 53. So that was easy. So we'll grab three 100s for vehicle maintenance. I feel like it's been a while since I've done a cash condensing, but then again, I feel like I just did one. I don't know, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. So I don't, I definitely don't want to do two $100 bills. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I'm going to do 50s, I think, because when my husband goes and gets dog food, he doesn't need a $100 bill. So that's what I'm going to do is 200s. That worked out nice. So the placeholder situation, I didn't explain that for anyone who's new. So for the, oh, that is not what I meant to do. <laughs> Hello, Emily. For the placeholders. So this, so most people with a placeholder, when they reach a certain amount, they'll put a placeholder in there and deposit that into their savings account, which I think is super smart. Depending on the sinking fund, I will either deposit it into my savings account or I just set it aside in a separate binder because if it's in my savings account, there's a high probability that I will spend it. So, you know, for example, back to school, that I'm, I know that I'm gonna be spending that in August and September. So I don't deposit that into my savings account. I just set it aside until I need it. But other things like, I don't know, some people use them for savings challenges that I would put into my savings account. I am getting more disciplined though, so I could probably deposit it into my savings account, but yeah. All right, so Sam's Club, I've got 60 here, so I'm gonna do a 50 and a 10. So I completely forgot to explain that. Once you reach a goal in your sinking funds, you can put a fully funded placeholder in there so that you know, you know that it's fully funded. 100, oh my God, 100, I wish. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So, I like having fives, I think I might just keep it like this because I like having fives in here. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna condense it. I'm gonna condense it and I'm just gonna try to remember to, that was wrong. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do tens though. I do like that idea. All right, so now we have 35 in here again. Because I like, I use this for my wallet and I like to have $5 in, $5 in kindness and $5 in miscellaneous for that. So, all right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put $90 back into my $1 savings challenge. And I like to kind of check out my denominations because I'm also going to condense this too. 
because I have a lot of ones in here. So I need $90 back in here. So I'm for sure gonna do a 50 and two 20s. And then I like to keep some fives in here because this is what I use to make change for my cash on stuffing. So I'm gonna keep at least 15 ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then I have these ones back here I was gonna, that I was gonna add. It's like all sticking together. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So let's grab out some nice ones in here. All right, so this should be 15. So this is 15 and 20. This is 25. So I'm gonna grab two tens for this and then deposit all this back into the bank. I knew I had some crisp tens in there somewhere. So that condensed my $1 savings challenge quite a lot. I've already broken a couple of these zipper envelopes because I, I let it get too full and then I can't zip it and I end up breaking it. Perfect. And then the rest of this will go back to the bank with the exception of what I pulled. So the 500 placeholders that I put in, so those will actually go into a different binder. Okay, so you guys remember the sage green binder, which, stay tuned. <laughs> okay, but this is where I like to keep that extra cash that I've pulled out of my sinking funds. For all of the other envelopes that I put a placeholder in, I will grab another zippered envelope. And then I actually, I've never shown anyone these before because they're kind of just something I've been using. But a really long time ago, I made all of these just to put in the front of the envelopes so I knew which category they were. I had post-it notes and then it, I thought it was ugly. So um, yeah, I just, a lot of the sinking funds that I could potentially reach 500 or a thousand in. So um, I think I have them made for the ones that I used placeholders for, but so I will just grab that cash out of here as condensed as I possibly can, and then just add that into this binder. So some people are like, oh my gosh, that's so much cash to keep around the house. I guess I'm just not worried about it. We also have a huge safe, like huge safe because we, my husband stores his hunting shotguns in there as well. Um, so like you can't move it and you also can't get into it and it's also fireproof. So I guess I'm just not worried about it. <laughs> I have a lot of people that are like, I'm so worried about having so much cash. It's like, I'm just not worried about it. But any like sinking funds where it's money that we're just straight up saving, that would go into a savings account. But when I know I'm gonna be spending it, I just like to keep it on hand. So that way I know I'm not gonna spend it as I'm still learning to create new habits, change my mindset, and just have more self-control, basically. So anyway, that is it for today's cash condensing. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope this video blessed you in some way, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video.